dear students please note down the pdf file of all these notes have been uploaded in the description of video lecture please note down your notes in today's lecture we will discuss digestive system of liver fluke dear students digestive system of fasciola and that digestive system is consisting of a digestive cavity in which following parts are involved mouth buccal cavity pharynx esophagus and intestine it means in the digestive system mouth serves both the functions ingestion and ejection as there is no anus the alimentary canal is incomplete that's why the digestive system is named it is a digestive cavity and that digestive cavity comprises following parts first part of the alimentary canal that is mouth the mouth it is a small circular aperture that lies at the terminal part of this cephalicon head lobe this mouth is surrounded by oral sucker anterior sucker and mouth leads into buccal cavity the buccal cavity that is second part that buccal cavity is a small funnel shaped structure and that buccal cavity leads into pharynx this third part of the alimentary canal that is pharynx which is thick walled it is small bulb like it is oval shaped structure and the pharyngeal wall is highly muscular it is thick wall due to presence of radial muscles as well as in the pharyngeal wall in the pharyngeal lining unicellular pharyngeal glands are present dear students the pharynx and this mouth collectively constitute an apparatus that is sectorial apparatus for the ingestion of food next part of the alimentary canal that is esophagus very small tubular part thin walled structure and this esophagus leads behind into the intestine the intestine this is the largest part of the digestive system and this intestine having two limbs these are intestinal right and left limbs or these are crura or these are rami ramus intestine that is the largest part of alimentary canal and this intestine having two limbs right and left and both limbs are blind posteriorly as there is no anus both limbs give rise numerous highly branched intestinal cecca diverticulum these intestinal cecca are of two types external cecca are highly branched but these internal intestinal cecca which are simple and unbranched the lining of these intestinal diverticula or cecca are lined by glands the glandular lining of these intestinal cecca secretes all types of enzymes for the digestion of carbohydrates proteins and lipids these intestinal cecca which are highly branched they secrete amylases for the digestion of carbohydrates proteases for the digestion of proteins and the lipase enzymes for the digestion of lipids dear students this is all about digestive system of liver fluke having mouth that is terminal part and this small circular part aperture which is surrounded by oral sucker the mouth serves both ingestion as well as ejection of undigested food the next part of the alimentary canal that is buccal cavity and the buccal cavity lies in this oral sucker which is funnel shaped structure the third part which is 
very important it is pharynx oval shaped thick walled and its radial muscles powerful muscles for sucking action of food and the next part is esophagus which is small tubular part which leads behind into this the largest part of the alimentary canal which is present throughout the body as this intestinal cecum and this intestine involves the distribution of food as there is no circulatory system that's why the intestine having two limbs and each intestinal limbs having highly branched irregular structures intestinal diverticula intestinal cecum and these seca increase the surface area for the distribution of food substances physiology physiology of digestive system in liver fluke food the food of liver fluke that comprises blood bile and lymph epithelial cells of bile ducts ingestion of food ingestion of food that is carried by the action of pharynx the powerful the radial muscles of pharyngeal wall and this mouth collectively constitute a sectorial apparatus with the help of these sucking action of pharyngeal muscles the food is ingested digestion dear students digestion strictly digestion takes place in these intestinal cecum it means in case of liver fluke digestion is extracellular digestion is intracellular that occurs in the lumen in the cavity of intestinal cecum absorption the digested food the digested food which is present in the lumen of these intestinal cecum that gets simply diffused into the special type of fluid special type of tissue that is parenchyma that connective tissue which is present in this body body organs that is parenchyma and from the parenchyma the digested food diffuses into all tissues absorption of food absorption of food the di the digested food gets absorbed gets diffused into the parenchyma parenchymal tissues connective tissue and from that parenchyma the food gets diffused into body tissues assimilation the digested food after absorption involved that food is involved in the synthesis of protoplasm some food is involved in the synthesis of metabolic energy and dear students dear students some food gets stored in the form of fats and glycogen ejection the undigested food that is ejected through this mouth by anti peristalsis this is all about the digestive system of liver fluke fasciola hepatica in the digestive system which is named as digestive cavity only one aperture is there which is mouth there is no anus and this digestive cavity involves following parts mouth then buccal cavity the thick powerful part which is meant for sucking action of food that is pharynx then very small tubular part it is it is esophagus and the largest part which is intestine present throughout the body and its intestine having two limbs right and left each intestinal limb having externally highly branched intestinal cecum or diverticula and these intestinal cecum are lined by glandular epithelium 
that epithelium secretes all types of enzymes for the digestion of carbohydrates, proteins, and lipids. The enzymes are amylases, proteases, and lipases. It means digestion strictly takes place, and that digestion occurs in these intestinal cecca. And the digested food from the lumen of these intestinal cecca gets diffused into the connective tissue, which is parenchyma. And from the parenchyma, the food gets diffused into different body tissues. Assimilation of food. The digested food after absorption gets involved in the synthesis of protoplasm as well as some food gets stored in the form of glycogen and fats. And dear students, the undigested food that gets ingested that is removed through this aperture mouth by antiperistalsis. Dear students, in next lecture we will discuss next topic nervous system, reproductive system of liver fluke. Thank you.